I want to talk about regrets that I have personally about college. It's been a few months since graduation, so I think I now have the authority to really talk about this at length. Graduated from UCLA in June, so super recent. Uh, I've been working full time, just finished uh, work. Um, now I'm in the parking lot just filming this video for you guys. I think a lot of you now are also starting college or thinking about college or I don't even know who my audience is anymore, but if you're starting college or in college now, make sure to take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way because never in your entire life will you ever get to say yes to everything that comes at you. And let me tell you what I mean about that. My senior year, uh, during job applications, this uh, this lady told me something. She said, say yes to everything. Whether that's going out, going to go eat for dinner, um, going to go study with someone, say yes, because you'll never have the opportunity to do that ever again. And let me tell you how true that is, because now that I'm working full time, it's a lot different than when I was in college. Um, personally, that's not a regret of mine, saying not saying yes, because I did say yes to everything but this is just some advice for you know you guys probably be you guys in similar situations or etc so you know college is this time where you're surrounded by all these people of different backgrounds different interests and it's very hard to be in that environment ever again after graduation whether that's grad school completely different whether that's working full-time completely different professional school whatever it may be whatever you choose to do when you're not in college anymore it's just not like that college experience is once in a lifetime so just make sure to take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way uh, let's talk about some let's talk about some regrets that I have um, I do have a few regrets uh, well, not a few quite a bit that you know I've had at UCLA you know UCLA was a great school I love that school but I you know I wish I did some things differently the entirety of my experience I wish I didn't do differently however there's small aspects that I do wish I did, did differently and I'll tell you why one thing that I did when I got into college into UCLA I kind of treated college like high school uh, a little bit about myself I grew up in San Bernardino so you know I didn't know what to really expect about college because not a lot of people where I like none of my not a lot of my friends went to college um, a lot of them are still in community college or just dropped out or didn't choose to go to college which is perfectly fine but I grew up in a community where college wasn't a priority so I didn't know I didn't know like what college really entailed so I kind of treated it like high school going in I went to UCLA my, uh, my first quarter during the summer I kind of treated it like it was chill um i mean i never really studied as much as i should i did get good grades that first quarter but then the following quarters i didn't because i was pre-med but you know during that first quarter i did get good grades however i should have studied a lot more i should have like set aside more hours or blocks of time where i actually sat down digested the material classroom material that you know i went over um reviewing that and just following up with the homework and not putting anything in the last minute uh, and that is definitely a regret that I have personally. Um, another thing is utilizing office hours. Um, let me tell you, uh, from where I've, like a lot of my friends who did end up going to colleges, a lot of them avoided office hours for this reason, and it's the reason of pride. Um, from where I grew up, getting help was seen as like, you know, you're just not, you're just not smart enough, basically. So a lot of people, some. A handful of people from my high school who ended up going to UCLA. For example, I have a friend who never went to office hours. He was failing his classes. I was like, why don't you go get some help? And he's like, no, I can figure this out for myself. I don't need any help. And that was kind of my mindset as well. Not, I guess you could say it was kind of prideful in a sense where, you know, I, growing up in a community like that, in a way you think you're deficient. However, I wish I did go to office hours as more often as everyone else did because office hours was the perfect way to get things explained, the perfect way to really dive deeper into the material, you know, forge better relationship with your professors. It comes with a myriad, myriad, myriad of uh, positive, positive benefits. Um, and I didn't see that initially as a first year and going into my second year. So that's definitely a regret. 
that I have, I could have got better grades because of it. I could have retained a lot more material because of it. Um, everyone, all the smart people were utilizing office hours and I didn't realize that until later. But neglecting office hours is a no-go and I recommend that you don't do that. The thing that I regret is procrastinating. I did that throughout college up until my senior year. Trust me, just don't do it. It's a lot easier to do things spaced out than everything at the last minute. I know some people might say they function better that way or do are more productive that way, but it's not really productive at all. You lose sleep because of it. You, you know, your health deteriorates a little bit. You start going crazy, etc., etc. It's just all bad. It was always bad for me, even though I still did it all the time. However, during my senior year, I stopped doing it as much, um, and I saw a better output of productivity because of it. So I do recommend just keep, just, just do it. Just. If you get a homework assignment, just do it the day of. Maybe just, you know, chip at it day by day rather than just doing everything at once because that is just probably not the smartest idea. Trust me. Another regret, getting internships early. Um, well, this kind of doesn't pertain to me. Well, it doesn't pertain to pre-med students because you're not supposed to, like, you're not going to be doing an internship. So that's why I never really did in any internships up until my fourth year. I'm in business now. I can do another video about that later. Um, totally not pre-med anymore. Didn't decide that I wasn't pre-med until the last quarter at UCLA, which is very crazy because it doesn't give you a lot of time to really find a backup plan. I didn't have a backup plan, which is also turned out fine for me, but it's probably not the best course of action you want to take when you know finding a career path, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I guess one thing I get, uh, I regret um, not getting internships earlier. Um, because of the nature of my work, I was just shadowing doctors, I was doing research, I was trying to get hospital experience, all that health, re health related stuff I could talk about later. But yeah, getting internships early is very important because that will set you up for jobs after graduation and also it's very valuable experience that you can take into the workforce after you graduate. Because after you graduate, nothing is like college ever again, like in every aspect, socially or et cetera. Like you're not gonna be writing essays anymore. It's just it's just how it is. Other than that, UCLA was really good to me. I don't really have, you know, minus the little small regrets that I did talk about. I, the whole experience, you know, at, in its entirety, you know, was very valuable. Um, I think I've changed as a person. I'm definitely not the same person that I was when I went in when I was 18 years old. Um, I'm 22 now, so things are, you know, looking back and reflecting on how I've changed and what I've done, what I've learned, friends that I've gained, experience that I've gained. It's It's been tremendous. It's really crazy. And I hope you all also, or you also have some similar experiences as I did. If you have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. Just wanted to do a quick video on this subject because, you know, I just wanted to, I don't know if anyone needs help about college, you know, I'm the go-to guy. But it's been a great time for me. I live in Laguna Beach now. Um, lived in LA for four years for UCLA. Grew up in San Bernardino. Now I'm in Laguna Beach. So, you know, there's nothing really to complain about. I fortunately found a job right after graduation. It's really crazy. I don't know how I got super lucky. Um, the job is great, great benefits, great pay. Things are like really different now compared to college. And gotta be, I'm so thankful for everyone who's helped me get here today. But anyway, that's all from me. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you liked the video. Please leave a like down below, it really helps a lot. If you have any other suggestions on what other videos you want to see, just let me know. See you guys next week. Y'all right here with the more night, more night.